A wanted man is no longer a threat after a chase in Floresville. According to GPS, they spotted the 33-year-old suspect wanted for an active fugitive warrant out of Guadalupe County. The chase started near Floresville High School and ended behind the HEB just across the street from the school where he was shot. He did fire multiple times at officers. Uh, this is a busy area. Fortunately, uh, our officers t did some proactive measures, locked that school down immediately. The HEB, uh, we, we kept that individual away from this area as well. Floresville Police, the Wilson County Sheriff's Office, and state troopers all responded to the incident. Now to the violent storms erupting across a wide area of the Deep South. As ABC's Mona Kassar Abdi reports, as the system moves to the north and east, we'll start to see the full extent of the damage left behind. Overnight, a tornado outbreak striking the south, where at least 15 twisters have touched down, with that number expected to rise. The National Weather Service issuing a rare, particularly dangerous situation, or PDS, as parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Alabama get slammed with severe weather. In Louisiana, two people were injured after a confirmed tornado tore through homes in Caldwell Parish. Here. Holy cow. In this video posted by AccuWeather, extreme winds made for perilous driving conditions in Mississippi. And lightning illuminated the night sky as a tornado tore the steeple off this church. The storm system now making its way east, bringing heavy rain to the northeast and thunderstorms to the southern coast. Meanwhile, other parts of the country are dealing with winter weather. In Minnesota, the Twin Cities getting over eight inches of snow Tuesday. The snowstorm causing the airport there to close temporarily. Monaco Sarabdi, ABC News, New York. This morning, Congress is moving quickly to prevent a possible U.S. workers, rail workers strike. It's intervening in the labor dispute to stop what could be a devastating blow to the nation's economy. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the House will act later this morning on two separate bills. The unions have threatened to strike if an agreement can't be reached before December 9th deadline. Democratic and Republican leaders of the House and Senate met with President Biden on Tuesday at the White House and the group expressed optimism that the bill would receive significant bipartisan support. A woman has pleaded guilty in court for her role in the murder of Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen. Cecily Aguilar was indicted on 11 counts for her involvement in dismembering Guillen's body before burying the remains in shallow graves. Aguilar pleaded guilty yesterday to accessory after the fact and making a false statement. She is facing a maximum of 30 years in prison. Guillen was last seen on April 22, 2020 at Fort Hood. Contractors working on a fence along the Leon River found her remains more than two months later. Aguilar was the only person charged in the case. Authorities say Army Specialist Aaron Robinson murdered Guillen, but he shot and killed himself the day after the remains were found.